Hello my dear students. So this is your Pallavi ma'am. So this is about the polymer for the Karnataka CT 2020 where the number of questions possible for this is around 1 to 2. Okay. So, uh, when it comes to in case of a polymer, most of the possible questions will be like based on the monomers or like a partial structure, okay, and their uses. So, based on that one, I have uh, done a short note, I could say some of the short tricks to remember the monomers as well, okay. So, let us start. The first is like... Uh, thing is how to remember the monomers we are going to study and the types of polymer with example and their properties. Okay, so the first one you could see here the short trick to remember the monomers. Okay, see here I have taken some of the examples of a homo polymer. Okay, some of the examples of a homo polymer you could see as we know homo polymers are nothing but where uh, the monomer units will be of a same kind okay if a n number of monomer units are undergoing the uh, combination or if we, uh, we could say the polymerization all the monomer units will be of a same kind those are nothing but what the homopolymers okay so here some examples of a homopolymer with their monomer unit everything we'll going to discuss here okay so the first one i have taken is polyethene Okay, which can also be known as polyethylene. Okay, in short, it is represented as PE. Okay, this is one of the uh, common uh, polymer that we are uh, that we use in our day-to-day -day life, like a plastic bag that we are using. Okay, so which is a, not a biodegradable one. Okay, so it's a linear polymer. So, dear students, these are all points you have to remember. Okay, it's a linear polymer means the monomer units are linked with one another to form a long chain. Okay, and it is like a sometime man-made polymer, or we, we could say it's a, a synthetic polymer. Okay, and it is a thermoplastic. Okay, it's a uh, under the classification of a polymers, it is thermoplastic. Okay, then next comes which are the monomers here okay so the monomer of polyethene is ethylene so one uh, a simple method you have to remember dear students whenever the word poly comes okay whenever the word poly comes the word that is in front of the poly will be the monomer unit okay for the polyethene the monomer is ethene okay so this is how you have to remember so next the structure of Ethene or ethylene is as we all know it is CH2 double bond CH2. So one more point I have to add here. You have to remember this structure. Okay. Because because in if, uh, remaining a polymers this is a basic structure we will going to use here. Okay. If you remember this one you can write the monomers of almost all the homo polymers. So structure here is CH2 double bond CH2 which is nothing but what? C2 H4 okay and the partial structure so dear students partial structure means what we know that when the n number of monomer units will undergo polymerization it gives a polymer so we can't write the complete structure of a polymer okay for that reason so we will going to write only the partial structure which represent the entire structure of a polymer so this is how the partial structure of a polyethene will go into so where this double bond went this acts as a, a link between the monomer unit so if this is a one monomer unit so the next monomer unit will be linked by this double bond or the pi bond okay and here the method of polymerization okay so how exactly this polyethene is formed by the addition polymerization or by the radical polymerization free radical polymerization okay this is about what the polyethene or ethylene okay so when it comes to the uses of this polyethene it finds a best application in our day-to-day -day life uh, plastic uh, bags itself okay some of the toys okay uh, squeezing bottles so these are all the application of polyethene okay so you have to remember this ethene structure very well so here so as we all know the polyethene is formed by the polymerization of a n number of ethene okay but 
देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ पॉलीथीन बेस्ड ऑन द मेथड ऑफ पॉलीमराइजेशन मीन्स वट इज द टेम्परेचर वी आर मेंटेनिंग वट इज लाइक प्रेशर वी विल गोइंग टू मेंटेन एंड द कैटलिस्ट विल गोइंग टू यूज ओके दैट विल गिव सम डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज टू रेस्पेक्ट टू पॉलीथीन सो बेस्ड ऑन दैट वन इट इज एच डी पी एंड एल डी पी एच डी पी मीन्स वॉट हाई डेंसिटी पॉलीथीन एल डी पी मीन्स वॉट लो डेंसिटी पॉलीथीन ओके सो हियर वाइल प्रिपेरिंग द एच डी पी एंड एल डी पी द प्रेशर मेंटेन हियर फॉर द एच डी पी द एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर अराउंड सिक्स टू सेवन is maintained which is like a low pressure but here around 100 1000 to 2000 atmospheric pressure is maintained so when it comes to temperature around 330 to 350 kelvin is maintained and here around 350 to 570 kelvin is maintained okay here this point which i have uh, highlighted this you have to remember to prepare hdpe the ziegler natta catalyst is used ziegler nata catalyst what do you mean by that it is the formula is here it is a mixture of triethyl aluminum and titanium tetrachloride this is very important you have to remember okay so for the ldpe either oxygen or peroxide which acts as a initiator okay so next uh, hdp is used in the preparation of a containers pipes bottles whereas ldp is used in the preparation of a squeezing bottles okay and a flexible pipes toys as well so this point you have to remember that is ziegler natta catalyst and its composition okay yes so this is about what the polyethylene similarly let us move to the next polymer that is polystyrene okay so the information about polystyrene is it's a synthetic aromatic hydrocarbon polymer it is synthetic aromatic hydrocarbon polymer and it's a good transparent polymer as well as a homo polymer okay so as i told how to remember the in front of the poly the word what is it is nothing but the monomer and as i told the short trick to remember here is you have remember ch2 double bond ch2 right so here what happens the structure will be same basic out of four hydrogen one hydrogen from this carbon or either from this carbon is removed in that place benzene ring is added <clears throat> okay so ch2 ch2 double bond double bond ch where one hydrogen is removed in that place benzene ring is added this is what the structure of a styrene okay so if you remember this one you can find out the structure very easily okay next poly poly uh, sorry partial structure is ch2 as i told this double bond acts as what a link okay so single bond ch and the benzene ring this is a partial structure of polystyrene so mode of polymerization is a <clears throat> suspension polymerization okay a kind of addition polymerization and the uses here hot drink cups okay and some of the household articles which are made up of which are made up of what the plastic can be prepared by using this polystyrene so this is uh, uh, what we can say and a second type of a homo polymer okay so let us move to the next one that is <clears throat> pan so one question have appeared already in your competitive exam based on this one in 2015 or 19 if i am not wrong okay that we'll going to discuss so this is pan in short we're going to call it as a pan pan is nothing but what polyacrylonitrile polyacrylonitrile or it can also be known as polyvinyl cyanide polyvinyl cyanide it can also be known as preslon 61 or it can also be known as acrylon so lot of information we're going to get here only okay polyacrylonitrile polyvinyl cyanide or preslon 61 or acrylon okay so now it's a linear synthetic polymer it's a thermoplastic and the homo polymer and it is a vinyl polymer so monomers here as i told in front of the poly word what you have is a monomer acrylonitrile so the structure again i am reminding the short trick 
right ch2 double bond ch remove one hydrogen from the ch2 and put cyanide group over here so that gives what acrylonitrile structure or vinyl cyanide structure okay so partial structure is same so double bond will act as a link okay this is what the partial structure and you had to write this one this is compulsory okay which acts as a link which shows the link or continuation of the ring and then the some of the uses are like it will it will be used in the preparation of a like cloth carpets and the blankets okay and the mode of polymerization is a free radical vinyl polymerization since we are using a vinyl group over there so the name free radical vinyl polymerization okay so this is pan so let us move to the next one that is this you might have heard that is polyvinyl chloride pvc pipe you might have heard pvc pipe the same thing pvc means polyvinyl chloride or in short it is known as a vinyl polymers okay it is of a high strength thermoplastic and as well as a homopolymer flexible or rigid material either it might be a flexible or it might be a rigid material okay so monomer here as i told in front of the poly you have vinyl chloride so vinyl chloride is the monomer and the structure as i told you have to remember ch2 double bond ch2 remove one hydrogen in that place put cl okay so this is the structure of a monomer and partial structure here is same thing double bond acts as a link and this is a partial structure okay and the method of polymerization is a suspension polymerization used here like in the construction as a health care some of the equipments in piping a blood bags what we can see okay wire and the cable insulator so these are what some of the homopolymer some of the thermoplastics okay some examples for the addition polymerization okay similarly the last one you could see here is polyteflon okay the last one you could see here is polyteflon okay which is known as poly tetrafluoroethene poly tetrafluoroethene okay so that is a synthetic or a linear polymer it is one of the fluoropolymer because there is a presence of a fluorine group over there and it is a thermoplastic so dear students you can remember the example of a thermoplastic all this till now what i have discussed okay so the monomer again in front of the poly we have teflon so tetrafluoroethene is the monomer and the structure here is as i told here what happens remember the ethene okay remove all four hydrogen in that place put all four fluorine atom okay so it is tetra means four fluoro means fluorine ethene is c double bond c tetrafluoroethene or ethylene okay so this is a partial structure and it's a free radical polymerization through which we can prepare and it acts as a insulator seals some of the uh, like a uh, gaskets okay and some of the bushings so these are what homopolymers okay thermoplastic so this is a short tricks through which you can remember the structure of all okay so this is very helpful for your karnataka cet exam because most of the questions will appear on this a topic particularly okay so in the next video let us discuss about some of the uh, what we can say condensation polymerization till now we discussed about the addition polymerization okay i hope you find it useful thank you